What's up, fuckers? So we're going to be talking about holsters today. Uh, some of that's going to be very objective things, and then some of that's going to be personal, my preference, and stuff like that. Hold up real quick. Beer break. Uh, to first start off, uh, let's talk about leather holsters. So this is my leather holster. Now, I'm already aware, gun sticks out past the holster. This is not the correct holster for this. I'm going to be honest with you, it is very hard to find a correct holster for this gun. It has a literal six inch barrel on it like it is it is hard to find a good holster i'd have to get one custom made to get a good holster relatively clicking or quickly um but what i don't like about uh leather holsters for the most part they're fine open carry fine out on the range doing your range day thing they're cool they look cool with 1911s and stuff like that and revolvers perfectly fine with them um, this one specifically a concealed carry one um, after doing some research after I bought it which I can switch this one by the way for anybody who's wondering it can be open or, or concealed but that being said um you know it was made uh, for concealed carry and what I don't like about that is that after doing some research this stuff wears where the trigger guard is and if you're not paying attention, if it wears too much, you could end up discharging the weapon. Now, luckily, there is a safety on this uh, pistol. So if you have the safety on, then, you know, that's an extra bit of security. But there's no point in ever risking it when you can just get Kydex holsters. That being said, though, on that same note, What not to get with 1911 shit Kydex holsters. This is my most least favorite holster. Now this is 100% open carry, but even with it being open carry, because I don't think you can switch it, um, this is just dumb, right? Let's assume I, I wouldn't use the safety mechanism on a 1911 just personally. I like to have my stuff to be able to draw and shoot. I trust that the hammer is not going to magically drop and blow my balls off, you know? Uh, I wouldn't carry that six inch barrel, but if I had a smaller 1911, I wouldn't have any problem with not carrying it with the safety on. But in the realm of people who do use, you know, the 1911 with the safety, um, this is just going to add more time on the fact that you already have the safety. In general, it just adds more time into your draw. And when you're talking about seconds, I wouldn't risk it. This is just a shit holster. Don't get this shit holster. Um, don't get them with these. You don't need them. As long as you're tr practicing good, you know, trigger discipline and stuff like that, and you're not buying cheap leather holsters or worn out holst leather holsters, you're fine. You're not going to shoot yourself. Just, it's just simple as that. You can worry about it if you want, but I promise you, you're fine as long as you practice good safety. Next one on the list, um, cheap Amazon holsters. So that's what this is. Um, I bought this for this because it looked fine enough. It functions fine enough. Um, doesn't have good retention, but I also could just, you know, get the retention screw a little bit tighter. Um, but I got it because this is just a cheap 9mm. It's the SD V9 VE fucking Smith & Wesson. Um, so I just had it. It was my original carry. It worked fine. I think um, Amazon, like cheap Amazon holsters are fine. As long as you avoid like one thing, which is like big indents where the trigger guard would be, uh, you just don't want to shoot yourself in the nuts. And if there's an indent in there, that gives it a chance to depress the trigger and end up having a neg negligent discharge. Kind of the follow up on that. Um, so like this is a perfect example, right? You see that indent right there? This is the holster that came with my current carry pistol. Um, it's a Canic, uh, and there's this indent in here. Now, I carry this for months on end. I never shot myself. That doesn't mean it can't happen. I just never did. But I just don't trust indents like this because that means that there's a chance that if it got squeezed, it could, and then pushed forward, it could discharge the weapon into my uh, junk or at the very least at the ground and scare people and myself and probably get myself arrested. So I just don't get cheap holsters with indents on this. Um, as for like general like wearability and stuff like that, this holster's not bad. And then uh, my current holster, my favorite holster, um, that's the We The People holster. Um, there, it doesn't have that indent. This is for Mechanic, this is my current carry pistol. Um, you know, cool, little carry pistol. Uh, I like it, it has the cut for it for, this, uh, for an optic and stuff like that, so you can have an optic on there. Um, 
there's no indent in there that is gonna risk blowing my stuff off. It functions well, it's got good retention, you know. Um, if you're wondering about this piece right here, this is a piece of foam I have. I'm a big guy, um, so of course it forces the gun to instead of just sitting flat like this and in, in pushing into you and stuff like that, it causes it to, let's just get it out the way, it causes it to go like this and stuff like that on there and the gun sticks out. So this little piece of foam pushes against me and keeps it flat like this against my body. So yeah, that's just my current favorite one. Um, if you're a big guy, I recommend these foam things. Uh, sorry for pointing the gun at you. I know some people are gonna freak about that. Your camera, you're fine. So, uh, you know, that's gonna wrap it up. Please like, subscribe, comment. I wanna hear you guys' feedback. I'm trying to get better at this long form content, trying to be a little bit more spoken because I've been a little bit quieter. Sometimes that's more because there's people in the house and I don't wanna wake them because my best time to record is at night. Other times it's just because like, I am i don't really have a script for this and I've tried scripting videos, but it just I just always go off track. So I'm trying to get better at just being spontaneous, but just having a general idea on the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, you guys have a good one.